very shy. She just doesn't want to come in front or ask it herself. She says her question is about will of Allah. She says, I keep hearing everything is the will of Allah. Whatever happens is the will of Allah. And they say that everything is written already. So then where is the freedom of choice? When Allah gave me freedom of choice, whatever I do, if anything happens, they say, oh, this was written and it's the will of Allah. Then she also says, even with Adam and Eve, similar happened. And if you could explain if there is so much, everything is written down, then what is my freedom of choice? Sister, that's a very good question, very important question. That if everything is the will of Allah, then where is the freedom of choice? And this is a question not only asked by non-Muslims, even asked by Muslims. It's talking about Qadr. That if it is mentioned in destiny, that I'm going to rob. And if I rob, who's to blame? Allah is to blame. If it is mentioned in my destiny, I'm going to commit murder. And I commit murder, who's to blame? Allah is to blame. So where is the free will? So if it is the will of Allah, or if it is mentioned in the destiny, I'm joining both together, then where is the free will? The reply to this question is, it's compulsory that every Muslim should believe in Qadr. But you should understand what is the meaning of destiny. For example, if suppose in a classroom, there are 100 students, and when the teacher teaches the students in the classroom, at the end of the year, before the examination, the teacher predicts that this student, he will come out first class first. This student, he will get second class. This student, he will fail. The teacher predicts why? He knows that this student is very studious, always does homework, does extra studies. This average student, second class. That student, you know, goes for movies, doesn't do homework, misses the class, predicts that that student will fail. Now, once the examination takes place, after the results come out, this student gets first class first, this student gets second class, that student fails. I am asking you a question. Can the student who has failed, can he blame the teacher that because you have predicted I will fail, I have failed? Who is to blame? The student or the teacher? Who is to blame? The student or the teacher? The student. The teacher predicted. Who is to blame? The student. He did not study, he did not do his homework, he used to go for extra movies. So similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the human being the free will. Allah has told you what is right, what is wrong, but the choice is yours. For example, if you come at a crossroad, there are four roads, A, B, C, D. You can choose any. You choose road C. So Allah knows in advance that when you come at crossroad, you will choose road C. So Allah writes, when the person comes at the crossroad, he will choose road C. So it is not because Allah is writing that you are choosing, because you will be choosing Allah is writing. It is not because Allah is writing that you are choosing road C. It is because you will be choosing road C. Allah is ilme gab. He has knowledge of the future. He writes in advance. After you choose road C, you come at another crossroad, five roads, one, two, three, four, five. Like after you pass the 12th standard, you can become engineer, you can become doctor, you can become businessman. You choose to become a businessman. Choice is yours. But Allah knows in advance that after you pass standard 12th, you will choose to become a businessman. It is not because Allah is writing that you are becoming a businessman. Because you wanted to become a businessman, Allah is writing in advance. And what you understand here, that if Allah wants, He can easily change it. For example, if in a classroom, in the mathematics examination, the teacher gives the paper 2 plus 2 is equal to how much? Now why is she supervising? The student writes 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. The teacher will not correct, the teacher can correct. But if the teacher corrects, you will say the teacher is unjust. If the teacher says don't write 5, write 4. All the other students will this is an examination. Why are you interfering? So if Allah wants, he can change, but because he has given you free will, he is letting you take your decision. So this life is a test for the hereafter. As Allah says in Surah Mul, chapter 16, verse number 2, Allah khalaqal mawta wal hayata. It's Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good in deeds. So this life is a test for the hereafter. Allah has given you and shown you the rules, what is good, what is bad. Then he's given you a free will. It is your choice. 
Allah does not interfere in your free will. He can if He wants. The Quran says, not even a leaf can fall without the permission of Allah. So whatever happens, happens with Allah's free will, but the decision is yours. And based on that, you will be rewarded or punished. Hope that answers the question. We'll have the next question from the brothers Mike in the center. So why in the Quran does it say that if a Muslim who is born a Muslim should be punished by death if he chooses not to follow the religion anymore?